I started being a musician probably around 16 or 17. And I was a terrible guitar player. Fortunately, I was a better drummer. It's like I found I could write music and arrange music much better than I could play. So I could take ideas from a couple of different people and myself, and they would start off mediocre, and I could make them better or more interesting. And that's where my niche was. And it just went to me. The band now is affectionately termed booty core. We draw a lot of style from being in Detroit, from being in the old 70s funk R&B sound, which is how a lot of industrial dance music started out. More or less screaming and playing guitar over it, so you'd have this loud music that you could dance to. Well, you know, there's two different sets of people in the world. There's those that play in the daylight and those that play in the night. And no matter what generation, there's always a crowd that hangs out in, in the darkness. You hope that A, you can continue to be a musician and it's not horrible. And B, you hope you don't become a musician that plays in your basement for the sake of pleasing yourself. And then C, you hope you don't end up hating it because playing in a band is the equivalent of having a alcoholic spouse, a disabled child, and another child that's got social misconduct problems. Half-Life's Jamie Hall has a very public life. When he isn't regaling his public from the stage at some local bar, he takes care of a very different public sector as physician in charge at one of Detroit's largest public health clinics. But as you might imagine, he's no McDreamy in a white lab coat. In fact, his starched white coat has never left the hangar in his office. Dr. Hall is a physician in charge here, and you know, he is the rock and roll doc, and he has his earrings and his bleached hair. It works for me. In sharp dress, and I'm like, okay, what kind of doctor is this? You know, <laughs> but he's a good doctor, though. He is a good doctor. There's days that people who are really needy, without any fault of their own, will absolutely suck the life out of you. And when you're incredibly frustrated, you want to throw in the towel, and you can't say you take it anymore, then something really divine happens, and you're thankful that you're actually able to do this kind of work. It's mind-blowing sometimes. When you're younger, all you can think about is how great of an idea that would be to, be, to do music exclusive. As you get older and you find out that um, there's, a lot, not, there's a lot of other things you can do and there's a lot of other things you might be talented at, I don't think I'd ever do one thing exclusively anymore. I always wanted to be a Renaissance man. I never wanted to grow up and just have one job. 